How are you feeling? John Riggs here with the Tilt Pack. This is a motion controller for the Nintendo 64. Motion controllers are, uh, well, I mean, it's not uncommon anymore. Um, I mean, the, the Wii uh, prided itself. And in fact, many games for the Wii forced you to use motion controls. But before that, you know, there wasn't really a whole lot out there. And every once in a while, there's like something for the PlayStation 4, maybe, or, you know, it's like, you know, there's like some weight to it or something like that. And there's been other things along the way, too. But this is a tilt pack. This is something that you plug into your um, your pack area of your Nintendo 64 controller. I'm sure there's a name for it. I'm just, it's escaping me right now. And it turns your controller basically into a motion controller for your Nintendo 64 games. We're going to plug this in. Um, I'm going to test out a few games on the Nintendo 64. And we'll see how good I guess it is. This comes to us from Pelican Accessories. To be honest with you, haven't heard of them before this. Look how excited that guy is. Good lord. A little bit of the back of the box there, too, if you're curious. Takes a couple of AA batteries, which I do have on hand. Let's check it out. Rumble and motion sensing pack. Okay, so it does rumble also. That's handy, I guess. Not necessary, but handy. Rumble supports one of those things. It's like, I never opted for it when it was an option, but if it's already built into the controller, eh, well, whatever. So it comes with a little card, and then here it is right here. Interesting that it plugs in, and then there's also a port for it there, too, um, but really, it just works off of this. Oh, no, no, no. It's not wireless. Okay, there, there is a cord on that controller there. So, yeah, you do, you still plug this in, which recognizes the thing, but then you still have to plug in your controller into this thing. Interesting. Okay. Um, it requires a couple of AA batteries, which probably go in right here. Um, this will be powered when it's plugged into the Nintendo 64. Interesting enough. Let's say AA. It looks like AAA. Requires two AA batteries, not included. This, my friend... These are triple A size, not double A. They won't even fit in there if I shove them in there. Let me let me try the double. Let me try the triple A just in case. Okay, yeah. So triple A fits right in there. So the packaging was wrong. Hilarious. Yeah, triple A's work. It's triple A, not not not. The box says double A, but these are triple A, and that's what's fitting in there right now. So we're already off. Already off to a swimming start here. Okay. Uh, there's a couple of settings. There's also like a set and turbo button. That's interesting. But we will, um, you know, we'll just plug it in and see, see what happens. And I guess that's well it takes to have motion control, something like this. I, I am using the Retro Fighters controller for this, but it should work all the same. I guess we'll turn it on and find out. So here you have that part right here, and then it's connected to here onto this. Interesting. All right, so to practice this, um, I'm playing Glover. Uh, why, why, why not? I just, it's a game that you can just jump in there. There's a practice setting too. Um, looking at this, there is a T, T1, and T2. Those are um, uh, the tilt. T1 is like light rumble, then T2 is heavy rumble. And then there's also a, a couple other buttons. I'm not gonna worry about those. Um, but to signify, and I can walk around right now, which is I'm doing, which I'm doing right now. And I'm gonna see if I can kind of squeeze myself in here too. So we got that. But if you hold L, R, and start at the same time, apparently it fires up. Got the red going on there. And there it is. So it just turned. It's it's a as you can see, you still have to hit the button, but it just turns your thing into a motion control, which is actually it's actually decently responsive. There's a little bit of a lag. A little bit more than a little bit of a lag, but you know, all things considered, you could figure it out. Like if you're playing monkey ball, they don't have monkey ball for the 64. I wish they did. Um, you know, but we can let's let's play around with this some more. Let's see if we can find another game to kind of utilize these features here. So right now I'm doing the gyro from ah. Oh, I totally missed that one. And again, this makes it a little uh, motion controller. Oh, geez, I, I way overshot that. <laughs> yeah, no, it's not going to happen. There we go. Oh, no. Ah, interesting. Okay, so th this is all right. 
This one's going to be a test of strength. This is a Japanese game that involves you cannot hit the walls. I don't know, buddy. No, oh, geez. Oh, there's the rumble. Okay, I had the rumble turned on on this one. Uh, yeah. Height. Try again. Oh, geez. All right, come on. I can do better the next time. Oh, my God. Oh, geez. You, know, you, you see what I mean, though? It's doable. It really is. But, you know, yeah. That rumble's crazy. So all in all, this thing, it's actually not bad. I mean, it's not my preferred way of playing. Anytime there's motion controls involved, I avoid it. Because it's like, I just want to play the game. I just want to chill on my couch and hang out and have some fun. However, it might be fun for like a challenge or something like that. But it's cool to see that they had motion controls for the Nintendo 64 uh, back when a lot of people really weren't into motion controls. And I'm still not. And I don't know how many people really are. Um, interesting to see, though. And oddly enough... It's pretty responsive. I mean, again, a little bit of a delay, a little bit of a lag, but still, I mean, it's it's still very doable. I want to thank my buddy Alan for sending me one of these. He had a couple of them, so he wanted to send one my way. I've actually been sitting on it for probably about two years now, but I was like, you know what? I've never actually hooked this up. Let's give it a shot anyway. So I'm glad I did, and I'm glad you watched, and uh, I thank you for your time and attention, and I'll return it tenfold. Hopefully I get to see you sometime in the near future. We'll see ya.